Hello, Taurus. Hi, how are you guys doing? So we're going to jump into your read and see what we have for you today. Now, um, this might resonate, this might not. It's a general, not a personal read. So for those of you who are new here, um, please don't take it, you know, seriously if it doesn't resonate. Um, it was just not your reading for today, okay? So if this does resonate, remember to thumbs up your video. Give this uh, support on the channel. And also, um, go over to the Instagram if you want to support another cause, if you want to take it further. As soon as we hit the 5k mark on the Instagram, I'm definitely starting those free personal readings over there live. So if that's something that you want to support, the link should be in the bio. As I'm going through this, I'm looking at all these birds coming in my backyard again. A new blessing, a new operation is happening in the universe. And they're just giving me signs. So thank you, universe. So something new is coming. Something bliss. Something about traveling as well. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. What's going on for Taurus energy? You're tying up loose ends. You're tying up the past, especially things that didn't fulfill you. And you're trying to move on. And seeing the Page of Pentacles. Definitely there's someone trying to come towards you. I feel like there's something to do with this Five of Pentacles, this person, you know, they're not quite there yet. Um, when it comes to someone that can make you feel stable and secured in a relationship. It's coming off as a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus energy, okay? This could be your energy as well that, you know, you're coming towards your person, but I'm just going to say, you know, them because I just want to confuse myself. But there's a separation between you and this person here. Um, there's a, a lot of love between you and this person that, you know, it's just like, well, you want to be together, but you guys can't understand each other. You know, you're not on the same page. This is a huge conflict between you and this person. I'm also seeing the Queen of Wands here and the Moon in reverse. So definitely rolling your eyes at this person. You're kind of like you had enough. You feel like you have been the provider of this relationship. This person, you know, to keep things steady. I feel like this person that you are with is someone that is just starting out and starting to understand things and this could be difficult because you've been with this person for such a while but now it's like you're realizing that this is a waste of time in the moon it's like uh this mistake i feel like there's something else going on within this relationship where you feel this way but the angels haven't revealed it yet so tell me more for taurus <clears throat> wow you have the page of wands Okay, so there's a lot of struggles up and down together. This is what I'm seeing, but none of you are quite ready to let this go yet. This is what I'm seeing here. So it's kind of like this bump in the road where, you know, you guys are going through these emotional roller coasters, but you're not ready to let go. I feel like this person is really excited to actually have you back, even though you're tying up loose ends here. When it comes to your home, for a lot of you could have lived together and this is like no more. You need to get your own place kind of vibe. But I feel like this person is coming towards you to tell you something. Um, and they're really excited. It's like they want to try again. They want to keep trying. They don't want to let go. They feel like there's so much potential about this relationship. Again, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I'm also getting Aries, Leo, Sag. I'm getting Leo here specifically in this major card. And Pisces for some of you who is dating a Pisces. But there is like this um, quite this energy of like both of you are not showing you guys how you truly feel like this person is not showing you. You're not showing them kind of energy. <laughs> this is what I'm seeing here. I feel like there is a conflict that no one wants to address. It's about these choices. So this person cheated. This person cheated while you were holding them down. And this is really frustrating. Like I'm holding you down and you're busy doing things that you're not supposed to be doing. I feel like this person is going to come to you and surprise you because we have the King of Cups here. Okay, so tell me more. Oh my God, why am I seeing like walking down the street? Something about to do with a block or something, like a block, a corner store. 
And this person is at the corner store. Tell me more. And they're always there. They're excited about that place. I don't know what is it about, like the corner of the block. I can see this person hanging out on the corner of a block. The store. Corner store. <laughs> okay. Okay, we have some messages. I did not want to have a lot of cards, but the angels have different things for me, which is fine. All right, so I feel like this person wants to have a commitment with you, but they're just not having the time for you. So they're in and they're out with this commitment that they're offering. And I feel like, you know what, you, I feel like what I'm seeing here is like, it's like this person, like one person is just not sure about this connection because they're just not ready and the other is ready. Like, I feel like one person wants to like really just dive into this and be together and have this like fulfilling life, you know, this like tight emotional connection. But someone here is just not connecting. I feel like, you know, you're going to be forced to move on or move out, move far away from this person. I feel like you're coming off as a queen of pentacles, you know, you know, you're invested in good things after this person. I feel like there is going to be a point of you. It's like, I'm getting like you're not even upset about this, you know? Because you're rolling your eyes, yes, because you wasted a lot of time, you invested in this person. But at the end of the day, I'm seeing you really just like really open and ready to like really invest in someone that truly matters and truly want the same things that you do. So I'm seeing you invest in time here within yourself in this energy of just being open and just moving on. But there is this like, decision making that's happening like finally this person is like okay seven of sword seven of cups is too much for me i'm decided now i want to be with my person but this tower moment is in between us and lies and betrayal and this person is like really controlling because they're getting their lies ready this is what i'm feeling so they can talk to you or feed you these lies so be really really you know aware of that because i see them coming back you see what i'm saying the knight of swords rushing back to you in the moment okay and don't care who the hell you're with so if for those of you who if you moved on with someone else just try not to make them be around at that time okay if uh, if you see your person or this person your past coming towards you because you clearly have feelings for them too it's just really complicated you know it's like a lot of things that you guys been through but yeah the nine of wands is here and this is letting me know this is not quite over you know, so you have a soft spot for this person that is rushing in, okay? This could be a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra, but I'm also seeing Taurus, Scorpio in the major cards here. I'm seeing Leo in the major card, so let's stick with that. Um, Pisces in the major card here, okay? But I'm feeling like this person is like ready to fight off anyone and anyone to get towards you, to get in, you know, to get back where they need to be with you, um, to even embarrass you in front of your person, so your person could walk away. They're going to play anything that they have, you know. They're coming off as a player, by the way, with this Knight of Swords. You know, not really ready to commit, but you kind of know that, the way their personality is. But they're giving you these huge-ass offers and don't know how to fulfill them. You know, they give you the huge offer and then come off as the Four of um, Cups, which is like in-and-out energy. So this person could live with you and make you feel like, okay, we're good. But they're never there kind of vibe. Wow. So this is what I have, Taurus. Let's see what the angels have for you when it comes to the energy deck for Taurus. What's going on for Taurus? We have value, door to value. No. Yeah, door to value. So money is coming in for you. More money. Oh, look at this. So when you, this is what this is all about. So the queen of pentacles being very stable invest in money is coming back so it's time for you to get your own house or your own car your own place something about really like invest in it's like the angels are saying it's time to do this like you're capable of doing this so you're coming out very stable capable and they see this as well all right so you're thinking about this but you're thinking way too hard and you're taking your time 
I feel like it's just because you're just not entwined with your intuition for some reason. This is what I'm seeing here. Like you don't trust yourself and this is something that you need to practice or you really need to work on. Appreciation is also coming up. Okay, hostilities is also coming up. And then we have the temple of path. So you're on the right path. Everything that's happening is supposed to happen. Look at this, your intuition. Oh my God. So the moon is here. The moon is saying that please trust your intuition. Okay. Moving forward, any kind of decisions that you need to do or make, just make sure you're doing it and no one is forcing you to make any kind of decision moving forward because this is going to start stress, anxiety, and the nine of swords, ten of swords, okay, in your back. You know, you're just going to be very stuck in that energy of the eight of swords, you know, playing with your mind. Is this the right thing for me to do? But they're saying you're strong enough to do this. You need to take charge. You need to take back your power. Wow. This is what I have for you, Taurus. I hope it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. And I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.